back to it. Uh, Tom, can you gain immunity just by being exposed to people with the virus on a regular basis? Or do you have to get it yourself? Well, well, what we do know about immunity is not that if it's uh, not like measles or whatnot, that you have some benefit of just having some kind of exposure. We don't know a lot about that. That's obviously not recommended. What we do know is that once there may be a people who have who are asymptomatic, who had exposure and have antibodies in their system already to fight COVID, though they didn't get the disease, uh, that's one subset of population of folks. And then there's the folks who had mild disease or had even significant disease who then who survived, who then have antibodies in their system. But it's not something that we're you being exposed just casually is going to somehow boost up your immune system. Uh, we haven't seen that yet. Okay, next one coming in. You know, we've talked about what you do when you get it. Ibuprofen, Tylenol, a lot of hydration. Uh, here's an interesting text, Tom, and I haven't heard this one. Tonic water, good for prevention. Qu what, what, quinine? What would be in tonic water? Well, that's, that's what people are uh, saying, that they're higher... Uh, quantity of quinine that's in there that may be, you know, earlier in the uh, onset of this uh, disease that they were talk about quinine and how that uh, being helpful. But really, there's probably nothing that's been studied that quinine is going to be helpful for you by drinking of that quality. It's probably the key thing is just good hydration is probably the, uh, what that uh, lends itself to, uh, but not specifically as a treatment, not mm -hmm. uh, as a prevention at all, Walt, that I knew of. Yeah, uh, you mentioned hydration. Is that just like water? Is water okay? Or are you talking about a Gatorade type of thing? I'm talking about just meeting your body's needs for water fluid. Okay. So that's really water is what I'm talking about. Okay. You know, staying in good hydration, just like we would at any other time to have to be healthy. You know, water is very important, good intake. All right, next text coming in for Dr. Tom. Can the virus be transmitted by people who are exhaling after vaping in public? Well, you know, what, twofold on that question, right? Vaping is not probably good for you anyway. It's not anything that you're inhaling. Your lungs is not supposed to be there, except the air is bad for you. So any, what we do know is that coughing projects a certain, if someone else who had COVID-19, uh, that coughing can expel a lot of these droplets that are in, in the air and placing people at risk. So those are two things. One, of course, is vaping not to be done uh, because of the increased risk of damage to the lungs. And we know that COVID-19, that's where they really like the op where it likes opportunity to do damages in the lungs. So again, not necessarily that way, but if they were coughing, anybody's at risk of coughing and, and they do have uh, COVID-19 would increase their risk for uh, spreading. All right, Dr. Thomas Hopkins, Roseville, thank you again. Uh, thanks to everybody right. who